ladies and gentlemen. We are headed out on the Kingfisher out of New Buffalo. It is August 6th. Uh, water temperature is 76 degrees here in the channel. Uh, so we're down two degrees from last weekend out on the lake here. And uh, the air temperature is, I don't know, it's muggy. I mean, it's, it's super muggy out today. So uh, it's supposed to get up to 90 degrees. So we brought the big boat with the bimini top so we can get out of the sun a little bit. We got fried, at least I got fried on St. Clair last weekend. So we're gonna head out after whatever bites. So we're gonna go out to, we got a couple waypoints out in 111 foot of water. We're going to start out there and troll our way out. We're going to be running uh, downriggers, dipsies, and leg core. And uh, hopefully we can get some uh, king salmon, coho, steelhead, or lake trout in the boat. Uh, we're optimistic today. We actually bought ice. So uh, we're anticipating as Jeff's fumbling around with his camera. <laughs> he broke it. Oh, jeez. We're anticipating some fish, so we got some ice in the boat, put some fish on, so hopefully something happens. So hopefully next time you see us, we're hooked up with the fish. This is cool, this is how the Garmin reactor works. The only thing I do, don't like is that you can't control the steering wheel at all. Oh really? Yeah, but you just, you just take this and you kind of, like it's a remote control, so you kind of just point where you want to go. Right. And adjust the heading. If you look, this will start to, Oh, nice. so we're gonna go that way. I got us headed almost due north. It off. So then you can control the speed, like it tells you the speed, but you can control it with this. Yeah. Just like that. What the? What are you doing to do? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the flashers on the riggers. We're gonna run those. 65 and 75 put down for now. Like run your side 75 and now run mine 65. And, and then uh, uh, then put your dipsies out. There we go. 2.2, 2.3, I like that speed. I've always been like a 2.2 two troller. Dipsy pop. I don't think so. Kind of a tight dipsy. We can adjust that a little. Fish on. Let's see if Jeff can land it. If he lost his touch, you know he's a bass fisherman. So this whole salmon thing. We saw how you do with catfish. <laughs> so what is uh? What was that one at? One ninety-five. One ninety-five. Okay. That'll work. I don't think it popped to you. No, it popped. Did it? Yeah, look how high it is. Yeah, if it didn't pop, that's probably steelhead. If not it doing much. Might be a lake trout. I think it's a lake trout. Yeah. I don't know what color's on that one. I think that's got that watermelon. It just did a head shape as well. That'll work. Can I turn this off real quick? That doesn't mean laker for sure. It's not being acrobatic. That'll work. Not very big. That's right. Skunk that. out of the boat. Yep. 
Mouth wide open, we know what that is. It's a walleye. Is it? No. Oh. That's what they act like, though. Definitely got The motor's be. there, so if you could bring them over here, and you're probably going to have to walk back a little, just yeah. watch your, watch your uh, thing there. Reeling off this thing. That's all I can go, man. Is the big got him. It's not a bad Laker, man. Not a bad Laker at all. No. We got a weight on him. I bet oh, you. Oh, sweet! He just came off. Throw him back. Yeah, it's okay. We got a. Oh, that's a. Uh, that's throwing it back. Yeah, we're gonna smoke the shit out of him. These things are delicious. Yeah. Everybody complains about them. I think they're good. Go, Mr. Lake Trail on Mr. Jones and Outdoors. <laughs> we got Mr. Tangled up in his net. There we go. All right, what's that? Is that that blue dolphin type look? All right. Everybody likes to know what the weights are, so we're getting a weight. Boy, you could have fought him a little longer, dude. All right, any guesses? I'm gonna say eight pounder. Serious. Wow, he's really full of it. Eight pounds, three ounce. Eight three. Good job, dude. Throw him on the ice. Take your time, man. I don't know how many fish we're gonna catch today, so we're gonna enjoy it. Just watch my breaker line. I ain't gonna go on that side of it. There you go. That's good. All right, buddy. All you and the fish now. Up to him. Rolling a little slow. At least you don't have to walk this one back. Just watch your other lines, obviously. Is he? You want me to kick speed up a little? All right. 
Yeah. Heck yeah. You got a king on? You got a king or a big steely? They ain't a coho. It wouldn't pull that hard. I mean, I guess there are some big cohos out here. I'm afraid because when they pull all this weight. Yeah. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. Remember, you got a dipsy line here. King. Might be a little king. He took that board and buried it. Did he? Yeah, he did. And that's a king color bait that's on there too. That's that watermelon, that Ludington watermelon. Yeah. I catch a lot of kings on that bait. Out here at least. Yeah. Is it? Big? Decent fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish, dude. Oh, oh and then you fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, shit happens. Cool though. That was up high. I think that was a six color. That does suck. He was there. Hey. Oh, fish on. Left corner. Double up. 55 foot down? I don't know, dude. Guess it could be a Laker. It could be a Laker, but that's a big fish. Take your time, dude. We ain't bass fishing. Take your time. Is it? That's right. It looks silver to me. Is it a Laker? Can't tell. Yeah, it's a Laker. That'll work, it's fish. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. We'll see in a minute. It was a big mark. And... Yep, that was right in your rigger, man. He came right up and smacked it. They're up high today. They are definitely up high. Cool. Oh. Switch me sides. Like Go all the way over there. I think I can get you out of the motor. Okay. Lakers go up high, man. They're aggressive fish. You didn't get them on a slider, you got them on a rigger. There's the sliders behind it. Got them. Yeah, he wasn't big enough to pop the rigger. There you go, buddy. You get to clean that one out. Right there. Another thing. Good job, buddy. Very cool, man. Nice job. Slimer. Yeah, he's a slimer. I got him. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yep. We're going to eat the heck out of this thing. Good job. Pull the hook out. You alright? Yeah. Did you hit the cooler? Yeah. 
Oh, well, I got the hook buried in this fish. <laughs> That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. See him? Yeah. If it comes off, we know why. Hey, that's what I was going for. It's a big one, dude. That might be a 15 pounder. Yeah. I thought it was on the ball. <laughs> You're like, the ball's up. I'm like, no, it's not. That looked that good either. Get off the fucking fish. <laughs> How's that a hundred? Yep. It's a pretty big laker. off today for this grief ball. You know what the key to Lakers are? Drag the bottom. It set the hook 500 times. Look, I almost got the hook out of it. Look how far I got. That was close. Set the hook up on me. Can't get off the ball! Yeah, you're not on the ball, dummy. That's all fish. Oh. Player combo. Any guesses on the weight? I'm gonna say that's probably a 12 pounder. Survey says. do it uh, for us here on Lake Michigan it was a grinder today uh, we ended up with what did we end up three for five yeah. three grease balls and we lost two silvers so tough fishing 110 to 120 foot of water seem to be where it's at we got some on the bottom we got some 50 foot down so thanks for watching